Okay, so the Supreme Pro build of RetroPie is my favorite still, even though RetroPie 4.6 is out. I think this has got more to offer. Um, but I saw this post on the Supreme RetroPie Facebook group, uh, and it goes, hope everyone is doing well. Making this post, as I've been asked a few times, is Supreme Builds for the Pi 4 can be updated to the latest official RetroPie 4.6 update? And the answer is yes. So I thought I'd have a look and see how to do it. Uh, and the reason you would use this as opposed to uh, RetroPie 4.6 is there is more things in it. Uh, and lots of things have been very optimized uh, and it's very updatable and uh, there's so much good about it. So if I go to options, probably gone past it, there you go. And uh, RetroPie setup, you can see that it comes with an update option and you can see at the top there it's running version 4.5.16 so let's hit update are you sure you update installed packages yes fetch the latest version of RetroPie setup script and it's installing now don't know how long this takes leave it in real time just to see but this is the version uh, of this Supreme Pro version has also got GameCube in it so there's so much that it's got that's that's great, and it is incredibly well optimized. Okay, would you like to update the underlying OS packages? I'll say yes. Uh, and I've also got a Steam Link test, which I've done on this same build. Okay, so it came up with an error, um, but it's been going for quite some time, so I think the bulk of it's been done. So let's hit OK. I could have a look at the log. Install packages have been updated. So now it says 4.6.1. So let's perform a reboot and see if everything's working. And let's just flick through and see that it looks all right. So if we go into N64, and off-road challenge. All the menus feel nice and snappy. Whoa. Quick steering. Oh, I can use the D-pad. Yeah, it seems to be working pretty fast. Happy with that. So let's quit out of that. And go back in and just check Dreamcast is still working. Saw this in uh, Metal Jesus' video and thought it looked interesting, so I thought I'd give it a try. So I don't know what the buttons are. Uh, accelerate is uh, right stick. Oh, that's changing the angle. I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, no, it still can't see. Oh, that's the front angle. Oh, it looks like you can just change the angles of the camera, maybe to look like left and right. Oh, crikey, it's fast. So it's working quite jerky, so I might want to look at the settings and see if I can get something better on that. I don't actually know what I've got to do. I wasn't really uh, looking. I can see things on the radar. Yeah, probably need to uh, have a look at the... Oh, there you go, mission briefing. Land the plane on the runway, then use the helicopter to drop two super lumps. Oh, yeah, this is cool. Yeah, I could see this would be good. But uh, I need to find a runway, but uh, obviously it's a bit jerky, so I'll have a look at this on another go, because this is more about updating. Uh, but yeah, this looks interesting. I like the way there's lots of different missions. So I don't know where the runway is. Oh, there it is. It's right below, below me, look. Okay, so it's a bit jerky, um, but I'll come back to that in another video. Uh, so let's quit out of that. You can see all of this looks the same as it did before. Okay, so I thought I'd have a look at uh, that error and see what it was, even though everything seems to be working all right. Uh, so I'll go to Pixel, which isn't here. Uh, okay, so let's exit out. Uh, so we'll quit Emulation Station. And let's try Fix My Build and see if that works. So Fix My Build doesn't work. Okay, so let's launch the desktop with system CTL start light DM. Let's say two. Uh, I think the password is supreme. Oh, and then 
it launches RetroPie like that. Right, so let's see if it's still, if we got Pixel back. No, we still haven't got Pixel. So if I press the uh, Windows key on my keyboard, it brings up uh, this. So let's have a look and see if we can find those folders. So File Manager, and where were they? They were HomePie, RetroPie Setup. Home Pi Retropry Setup Logs RPS 2020-05-13 and then ending in 731. So that's that one. So it's a zipped file. Crikey, beyond me. So Somewhere along here, I guess it will find some issue, and I guess it's probably going to be at the end. Copying new default configuration to opt retropy configs or retropy rp dish home. Error running git pull returned one. Okay, so I don't know what that means, but I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments. Uh, but it does seem to have updated retropy anyway, so I'm not too worried. Uh, funny that the pixel uh, bit is missing now. Let's go to terminal, because there is a fix my build, and I don't know why that wasn't working. Yeah, no such file or directory. So it looks like it gets rid of that functionality. Fix my build, Supreme Online Tool, no such file or directory, emulation station. Yeah, so I don't know what fixes that, but it does seem to have, I mean, uh, I'm not too worried about this because I can get back to the Pixel desktop in the way that I showed. Um, and things like, so if we go, you can see Rycast is on there. You can see that, and if we go to the readme file, it tells you still how to get uh, the Dolphin emulator, so the Wii and the GameCube. So yeah, so it's updated it, but uh, obviously do this at your own risk. Uh, it does certainly seem to change something else, but hopefully someone will answer how to get the Pixel desktop back uh, and also how to get Fix My Build and things like that working. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.